In today's video, we are going to do several little DIY projects that we are then going to use to style a tiered tray. The theme today is black and gold Christmas. Hey there, Lisa here. Welcome to my channel. I am new to the YouTube world and this video actually marks several firsts for me. It is my first YouTube collaboration, my first video that's going to be over eight minutes long, and it's the first video that I am trying voiceover on. My motivation was this collaboration, Colors of Christmas, hosted by Devin at Freckled Mom and co-hosted by Wendy at White Sparrow Living. Be sure to hop over to their YouTube channels and check out the stuff that they create. It's really super incredible. You will be hitting subscribe on their channels. Speaking of that, I would love it if you hit subscribe on this if you like what you see today. All right, let's jump into these projects. For this project, if you make the pair as I did, you will need two of the Dollar Tree plastic bulb ornaments, black paint, gold paint, mini bottle brush trees, and I used four and I'll explain why later twine. I also used hot glue, wire cutters, and a disposable cup to complete this project. This is the super fun part. Put your bulb somewhere where it will stand upright. Ignore the circle painter's tape on the inside. I had an idea. It didn't work out. So what you will do is you will take your paints and put them in and then swirl it around and then take your other color and put it in and swirl it around. You can also add them at the same time and swirl it that way, whichever is your preference. Once you have it swirled how you would like it, tip it upside down in a disposable cup for it to drain and dry. Now these take a while to dry, so don't get in a huge hurry. Once the bulb had finally dried, I took my hot glue gun and I glued a bottle brush tree to the top. Then I went around the neck of the bottle with twine, securing it to the bulb with hot glue. I took wire cutters and removed the base off another bottle brush tree. Don't worry, I will use it for another project. I then took the base and glued it to the bottom of the bulb. There was a little bit of wire left over, so it wasn't flush. So I just filled it with hot glue until I could make it level. And lastly, I took twine and wrapped it around the seam that I had glued because there was such a large gap and also to tie it together from top to bottom. And then I secured it with hot glue. I really like the way these turned out. They're just a little bit funky and I kind of like it. With the tree that I had cut the base off of, I went ahead and I had these little caps and they have the holes in them and I filled the hole with hot glue and put my little tree in it. I think it goes pretty cute with the other little trees I make later in the tutorial. For this project, you will need a Dollar Tree sign similar to this. It's similar to a shadow box and then had like sequins between the back picture and what was on the front. Chalkboard paint, faux snow, bottle brush tree, chalk, snowflake clings, or you could use stickers, and gold vase filler. I also used paintbrushes, a hot glue gun, window cleaner, razor blade, and wire cutters to complete this project. The first step in the process was to, to dismantle the frame. Be sure to keep those styrofoam pieces. Next, I took a razor blade and some window cleaner and scraped off the Funtastic. I then painted the board that was in the back of the frame with chalkboard paint. Next, I replaced the glass and then I hot glued in the styrofoam pieces back to the frame. I took my wire cutters to a bottle brush tree and clipped off the base and it went flying. <laughs> I then trimmed the back of the tree completely flat. It ended up having to be so that it would fit in the small gap between the back of the frame and the glass. Since the bottle brush tree's base had been removed, I was able just to stick the wire on the bottom down into the styrofoam and it just stayed there. 
I then added the faux snow and I used a few of the really tiny little round gold vase fillers. Next up, I took a piece of chalk and wrote out, let it snow without the O. I initially was going to paint this, but since it was chalkboard paint, I thought it would be kind of fun to do it this way. And then if I change my mind, which I do about things often, I can redo this easily because it's chalkboard. I drew an X star. I didn't like the way it looked with the window cling on the front and then just complete blackness behind it. I also didn't like the X star, so I ended up just sort of smudging a circle, which I kind of liked. And then I just put the window cling on the outside of glass in front of my smudged circle O. I added another snowflake window cling to the front of the glass for good measure and I called it good. For this project, you will need a snowflake ornament from the Dollar Tree, black paint, a paint stick, and I also used tape, wood glue, a paintbrush, a saw, hot glue gun, pencil, and a ruler to complete this project. First up was getting the paint sticks cut to size. I solicited my husband's help for this. He made two four inch cuts and two four inch and one eighth. I then sanded off the writing that was on the paint stick as the way I was using them you would be able to see both sides. I grabbed an angle square, some masking tape, and the wood glue to glue the frame together. I used the masking tape to temporarily hold it until I could get the glue on it and then I pushed it into the angle square and put something heavy on each end until it dried. Someday I'd like to invest in some angle clamps, but until then this worked out just fine. Then I repeated the process until I had all four sides glued. I then painted the snowflake with black chalkboard paint. It has become my stand in for black chalk paint because it works. Finally, using the hanger that came with the snowflake, I tied it to the snowflake. I then tied a knot and with hot glue, I glued it to the inside of the middle of the frame. Aside from supplies and the paint stick, if you purchase them, which you can usually get them from free at the hardware store, this cost a dollar and I think it turned out really, really cool. The supplies I used for this project were three wooden tree ornaments from Dollar Tree, black paint, gold paint, glitter, small wooden cubes, twine, Spanish moss. I also used a paintbrush, super glue, hot glue, razor blade, ruler, and a pencil to complete the project. Two of the three trees were cut down the middle with a razor blade. I used the ruler and pencil to draw a line down the middle and then I sliced them with a razor blade. I then used super glue to glue them to the main tree. It took a little bit of patience as you kind of had to hold them there until they set up enough. Once the glue had set up and it was good and sturdy, I painted the star on top gold and I painted the rest of the tree with black chalkboard paint. Again, I just used the chalkboard paint because I didn't have much for glossy black and I didn't want to make chalk paint out of the little I had. It worked really well. I think it looked nice. Next, I grabbed a few of these wood craft cubes to make the tree a little bit taller. I glued four of them together. After gluing them together, I glued the base of the tree down to them and then I covered it around with some Spanish moss. I got a little carried away with the Spanish moss, so I had to go back and trim it up. Because these were ornaments, there were holes in the stars. And because of the way I sliced them, I wasn't able to fill the holes with wood filler beforehand. I tried several different things to cover the star on top, including ribbon and fake snow. At the end of the tutorial, I will show you what I finally settled on ended up not liking the height of the tree with just one row, so I went back and put another row of four blocks underneath. The tree was a little bit crooked, and so my blocks had to be a little bit crooked to make it look straight. And so I thought it would look kind of cool with some twine as I was trying to tie in some natural um, 
things with the tiered tray as well. So I wrapped it with twine and hot glued it down. Then I once again went in with the Spanish moss and hot glue to cover up the rest of the cubes. Back to the star once more. I just wasn't loving the look of the fake snow on it. So I just used a little bit of Elmer's glue and some glitter to cover up the mess I had made. I had before then sort of filled in the gaps with a little bit of hot glue. Um, if I were to do it again, I would probably fill it in with like wood filler or something and then sand it down. But I had already made such a mess that I couldn't get it off and just kind of had to cover it at that point. Eh, it was a little bit of a fail, but I think it turned out okay. Here are a few things I used and did to create height differences between things, as well as to fill space. This was so easy and I really love the way it turned out. I saw this little church at Dollar Tree and I was drawn to the gold bell and I just knew I had to paint it black. Picked up the cutest little ornament. It was actually the reason that I decided on gold as one of my colors and I wanted a little bit of a riser for it to sit on. So I used some of the little wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree and just glued them to the bottom of a snowflake ornament. I live in a small community and so oftentimes our Dollar Tree is pretty wiped out. I was only able to get the small gold bottle brush trees and then a couple of the green ones. I had these little caps on hand that I had picked up at Walmart so I just simply glued them to the bottom of the trees to create the heights I wanted. Here's another idea using the small little tower building blocks that you can get at the Dollar Tree is to just create a little riser to set stuff up on. I really wanted to just have lots of snowflakes and I wanted the natural wood along with the black and gold. So I just took and glued two of the snowflakes together and then with two of the small little tower building blocks just created a base for it so it would stand on its own. I was going to make a sign that said warm and cozy and hand paint it. However, I was remembering my tray a lot bigger when I was planning things and so a lot of the things that I had initially planned on doing I had to either change or scale down. So I just took a couple of the tower blocks, glued it together, and then using these little transfers from the Dollar Tree, I wrote cozy on it. As you can see halfway through, it breaks apart because I had put blocks on the bottom and it wasn't even and I was putting too much pressure on it. Um, it ended up being too short without the blocks and so I tried a couple of different things and we'll see what I end up settled on. Since the little cozy sign was too short on its own and I didn't like the blocks on the bottom of it, I tried this and this has a little clothespin on the back so I ended up putting a wooden block in it just to steady it so it would stand and then I just glued the cozy sign to it. This is another one of the little Dollar Tree things that you can get. It's a little chalkboard sign. And here we go. We have the completed fillers and the completed risers for the tiered tray. And next we get to see it all put together. I'm pretty happy with the completed project. I have never styled a tiered tray before, so it's my first go. There is one small project I didn't get completed, so stay tuned for that, as well as how I made the tiered tray. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite project I did. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much. Again, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.